Tonight we are trying to catch some bait for our flathead catfishing. We're going after bullhead, so hang out with us and we're going to see if we can find some bullhead and uh, show you how we catch them. Well, I don't see anything happen to the line. Got him. I think it is bullhead. <laughs> yep, <laughs> there it is. That's what we want, folks, right there. That's a good size bait bullhead. Caught on a uh, piece of cut bait of a uh, goldfish, actually. One of my son's pet goldfish died and we put it to good use, so <laughs> here we go. We're recycling. All right, so this is some of the goldfish. We only had one, so we're trying to be very, very select on uh, how much we're using. Pick some of the grass off there. So uh, I'm gonna go a little bit more than that. Once I get it on here, I'll kind of show you the snails and other stuff we got going on here. Um, yeah, that's, it doesn't take a whole lot of bait, so that's good. Make sure your hook point's still exposed there. But uh, that's all we're doing. And again, these are those pre-tied, snelled uh, rigs. We picked these up from Walmart. I think they were only like a buck, and you get, I don't know, six or eight of them, something like that. So again, the pre-tied snell to the barrel swivel and just a tiny, tiny little sliding weight. And most of our poles, or a couple of them at least, are these little Zebco 33 dock pistols. Really small. Rod's still got a nice backbone, so you can still get a good hook set. But uh, that's where we're running for the most part. We got a couple other rods, but uh, we've been using these for quite a long time, and uh, they work well. You can pick these up on Amazon, a Walmart. I think Shield stores even carries them every now and then. So that's what we got. We're gonna get this soaking. That's what we're looking for. That's a pretty big, pretty big bullhead going in the tank. Load it up. Load it up. Feels like a bullhead. You got the Yuvlin? You got it. I got it. Yep. There we are. Another nice bullhead, and we finally got a good hook set. Hey, all right. In fact, I don't even know if it's hooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just we'll hold, take it. It's just holding on to the bait. So that right there is going to be phenomenal flathead bait. So while I'm reeling this in, we fished for almost two hours with, and only caught one fish. And uh, and we were using bluegill, cut bluegill. And just for grins, I switched to that goldfish that I brought. And it wasn't three minutes when I switched to the goldfish and they started hitting. And so bait selection's huge. <laughs> goldfish, who would have who guessed? But here we go. Try to clean it up a little bit. You can take a look. That's another pretty pretty good size one for what we're looking for. Maybe a smidge on the big side, but beggars can't be choosers. Well, we're gonna take a just a quick second here in between bites. Um, hopefully we get interrupted, we'll see. Uh, kind of show you just a little bit of what we put together here. Um, you know, when, when you're bait fishing and especially, you know, keeping lots of, lots of bait, it takes a lot of gear, unfortunately, and I have a tendency to probably go overboard, but I want to show you a couple things we got here. So this you've seen before, this is just our bait cooler. You take a standard cooler, Brent has done a, a hack video on it. Standard cooler with some bubblers you pick up on Amazon or Walmart, drill the hole, run your tubing through there, and you run it and keep your bait nice and lively. 
So if you've done this before, you know that when this is full of bait and water, it's very heavy. So what we have started doing is we started getting some of these utility carts. This is a country tough utility cart. It's plastic. Uh, it actually has the dump feature so I can use it at home and things like that. But as you can see, the uh, bait tank fits nicely in here. Wheel it up to the truck and you're done. You don't have to carry it up or anything like that. Um, one of the other additions that I just made is I picked these up on Amazon, these little universal rod holders. They have a clamp, as you can see right here, to clamp it onto you know, a larger boat. But as I found tonight, it actually works really, really well to clamp right here on the side of the cart as well. Um, so it's just, you unscrew it, and then you clamp it on the side, and then you just tighten it back up. I'm not gonna worry about tightening it. You tighten it back up just like that. And uh, as you can see, the rod fits in there just super nice and steady. Um, one other thing we are trying tonight is I picked up some of these green glow sticks. When it's dark out here, it's kind of hard to see your bites. So we do have on these Zebcos the bite alerts, but they don't always go on with a soft bite. So with the bite, we can see the glow sticks tipping down just a little bit. So hopefully we can get a good bite here in a little bit and try to catch that on video. But those I picked on uh, up on Amazon as well. Also with these uh, universal rod holders. So check them out. Just some little things to make life and fishing a little bit easier for you. All right, so you, we're loaded up. You can see the you can see the glow stick bobbing and shaking. I'm going to go ahead and just take it off so I don't lose it. Make sure he's still here. Patience sometimes kind of sucks. I want to see that line snap again. Yeah, he's still there, I think. Yep. Feels like a little bit better of a bullhead. Nope, I lied. It's a little guy. That's a good bait size bullhead though. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Love it. Let's get him in the tank. There we go, we're gonna get up close and personal on this one. This one was running towards the shore. Grant was lost in his line. Slacked up significantly. And... Bullhead! The fruits of the labor. On the old Zebco 33. Pinky, we call it. That is a... It's a hefty bullhead right there. That is a good... Jeez Louise, that's a good one. Put it in the tank. There we go. All right, well, it's uh, after midnight. It's Brent's bedtime. So we got some storms pushing in too, and we're gonna go ahead and call it. Um, we ended up with seven, so that's better than nothing. Not uh, not quite as many as we'd hoped for, but um, again, beggars can't be choosers. So we got seven really, really nice bullhead. All of them appear to be super lively. And uh, we'll, I think Brent will pull you in here and we'll take a look at what we got in the cooler. Again, seven bullhead and there's still a few uh, bluegill swimming around in there that I brought in to cut up as bait if we need to. So um, Brent did end up catching a few of the bullhead on bluegill and then the goldfish worked pretty well just the same. So I think tonight was just one of those cases after all that uh, right place at the right time and I think probably the fresh cut was the key so there we go look at this guy look at that guy it's a beaut well folks so uh if you liked the video hopefully you did go ahead and give us a subscribe and throw us a like if you have any questions feel free to comment to us and uh if you're a, a new viewer we appreciate your view and if you're a pre-existing follower we appreciate that just the same so we'll catch you around good luck